Hey, what's up guys? Today we are doing something very hard. We are going to hike Volcano Akatenango. We've got our stick, our big backpack, and we are going to hike the volcano Akatenango, where we are going to have a great view over the other volcano, Fuego. Let's hope the weather is good today. It's a little bit cloudy. And if it's going to stay cloudy, we're doing all this for nothing. We just started out. We did the first few hundred meters. The group is pretty big. This is our group. And we're going to hike for four, four and a half hours, depending on the pace. And it's going uphill only, with very sandy ground. Looks like this. It's gonna be tough. It's already one of the hardest hikes I've ever been to. It's just been 40 minutes or something. <laughs> and guess what? We just reached the entrance. Are you kidding me? And here at the entrance, we have to register for the volcano. First hour, everything was dry, a lot of dust. And now, all of a the sudden, there's jungle. Where the fuck is that jungle now? But at least we have shadow in the jungle. That's good. I'm loving it. And those dogs, they're just coming with us. The whole way. Hiking dogs. We started approximately at 2,700 meters and we are going up to almost 4,000. The hike itself is super beautiful, but it's uphill only. There hasn't been like one meter, just flat. It's only uphill. We reached the third stop. It's getting pretty cold already. T-shirt is not enough anymore. And on the fourth stop, we're gonna have lunch. <laughs> right? How's the hike so far? Uh, very bad. We reached the fourth stop. Now it's lunchtime. We got some nice stuff. We had to carry it up, of course. And after we eat it, our baggage will be lighter. <laughs> We've got rice, some vegetables, chicken, and bon appetit. Lunch was great, and we are refreshed, and we continue upwards. Apparently now is the hardest part of the trek. Let's see how hard it can get. We are a few hundred meters more up now and you can see the vegetation changing drastically. There's pine trees now. Why am I doing this? You can't just go up there by horse. I feel like I'm in Lord of the Rings. Hiking the volcano to the top, throwing the ring inside. The air is getting thinner and thinner. There's almost no trees left. It's just grass now. We still can't see the top. But we are already above the clouds. It's getting pretty hard to breathe. You're taking a break and you think, okay, I'm fit again. You walk 10 meters up, it's like, whoa, can't. Now we're entering the spooky forest. Look at that. We reached the next level. The vegetation changed again. There's almost nothing left, just rocks and a few trees. It's surreal. 
but at least it's not as steep as before so we can walk a little bit straight now oh my god we did it we reached the base camp there it is And this is where we are going to sleep. And this is our tent. Those guys came up the door and now they take a nap because it was so exhausting, right? <coughs> Let's clean up those shoes. <coughs> <It's rabble. laughs> we hiked up here for four hours. Now we're up and we can't see anything because there's clouds. Everybody who wants can still hike to Fuego to see the lava flows. It's another five hours, uh, back and forth. Uh, two hours up, two hours down. And I'm not sure if I can do it because my legs are very tired. Maybe I should just enjoy the view here. Huh? And every 10 minutes there's an eruption, you can hear it really loud. It sounds like a thunderstorm. And it's a bit scary because you can't see anything yeah. and you don't know if something's flying your way, you know. There's been a huge eruption two days ago, so it's not very unlikely. We're going to Fuego now. There's only a small group left. The rest is too tired, chilling up there. <laughs> They're not doing anything. Uh, but yeah, let's hope it's worth it. Two hours to go there, two hours to go back. Let's go. Yeah, that's where we're walking right now. It's approximately two kilometers away from here. We're going down there. And then we're going up to that ridge over there. And we already hiked for five hours today. Woo. There it is, erupting. We are very close. Probably one kilometer away. We are halfway to the ridge. And I'm already regretting coming. I have to go back there. Up there. Fuck, in the dark. I might have to sleep here. <laughs> Mother Nature tells us not to be here. See that crack? Look how close we are. It's erupting again. And there's a sign saying restricted area. We shouldn't continue, right? But that's exactly what we're going to do. This is, this is beyond my limits, this hike. I can tell you that. But we're almost there. Spooky as hell. You really get the feeling that you shouldn't be here. This is not a place where humans should be. Yeah. We made it to the top of the ridge. The volcano is just next to us. But we can't see it because it's so cloudy. We're gonna stay here for 20 minutes only because we, then we need to head back. Let's hope it clears up in the next few minutes. And it's getting freezing cold. Look at my hands. Nice. And my shoes are fucked. Oh my god. Where are you, Volcano? Where are you? Alright, we didn't see shit. Time to go back. We made it back to the camp. I seriously didn't think I'd, I'd make it back. This was the most exhausting hike I've ever done by far. On the way I really thought I'm not gonna make it. It was so steep, sandy. Right now I had to rest for like 20 minutes. I couldn't even sit, I had to lie down. And then the way back up here, 
really I almost vomited out of exhaustion I didn't even know that's possible I'm really looking forward to sleeping I'm just gonna wait for another eruption because I didn't film any yet I was too busy dying on the way up you know we were only going there to the ridge of Fuego to see the lava flows and the eruption up close but it was too cloudy when we were there and now there's no fucking clouds you know it's been two hours since we left there now it's the perfect view Right. Let's call it a night. the next day it's 5:30 in the morning and that's why we came here to see the volcano erupting at sunrise it's really a once in a lifetime view easily the best view of my life there we go volcano fuego it's one of the most active volcanoes on the whole planet. It's erupting approximately every 15 minutes. And it's really loud. In the night when we were trying to sleep, the eruptions were huge. It was like an explosion, like a bomb going off. Yeah. If you want to sleep, this guy doesn't let you. Okay, now we go back to the base camp to have some breakfast. I feel really like a herd of sheep. Those guides <laughs> always calling, we need to go! <laughs> Last look at the volcano. There it is. <laughs> Next time, I'll come with the helicopter to the top and I just walked down. Much better. <laughs> <laughs>